<laughs> Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, I'm not a magician. Oh, I was just joking. You really know who I am? Well, good afternoon. No, good morning. Good morning. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. <laughs> can you can you do it with a bit more posh? Oh, what? Sorry. Okay. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings, my friend. Challenge today, Power Automate. We need to be able to set option set. Sorry. Choice values. Uh -oh. Yes. Choice values. But the challenge is that they come as text. That's what happens in your situation, right? So you've got some yeah. text that you need to convert to an option set value. And currently you have a big and ugly switch statement. It's a big one. And that's a big one, right? So if there's over 20 then, options. So hmm. it's getting after three or four, it's okay. But after that, it gets And each off. option actually does the update. So you've got like update, 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 right? Yeah. Okay. So what I decided for a change to pick up something out of the box, and uh, I looked at the asset checkout, which is a sample app. And one thing I noticed is that when I open data and I was looking for option set choice, and I'm like, this is mouse and this is a category. Uh -huh. And it's set to keyboard. And I, and I didn't touch this data, right? So... At some point, it got broken. Something got renamed. Keyboard is the monitor. Um, monitor is mice and what's Oh, not. dear. Right. So I need to fix that. So I need to be able to set the category. But I have no idea what the value is. All I know is like there is laptops, keyboards, monitors, and mice. So now what I want is I want to be able to set category, but passing the text. I want to be able to say mice, update to category to mice, and so on. Uh-huh. So I created a solution. I want you good. So then I put the table product and I did check the category column and it is a choice, but it's a local choice. Then what I did, I created a cloud flow. I'm manually triggering a flow and I say, uh -huh. is my new category. Let's just call it category. Okay. Thanks. Category. And I, what I did, I did it a list of options. <gasps> How good is that? Yeah. So laptop monitors give up my. That's what we ask users to enter. But this is text. This is not numbers. This is the magic. We will look into it in a second. So what I did, I say, let's update the category product. And I will go ahead and hot code. This is the ID of this record. For now, I'll just, you know, to try things out, hard code the good and category. Yes, I can send it to keyboard, laptop, mice, and monitor, but which one is coming? So I need to have a switch of four statements, or in your case, 20 mm -hmm. statements, each one updating. And if I'm updating more than one column, it becomes a nightmare to maintain. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying enter custom value, and I'm saying, okay, let's try laptops. Oh, it's an integer. It is uh -huh. a value. It's, it's a choice value. I'm saying yeah. one. Okay, let's try one. So we'll just run it. I say put it back to laptops. Uh -huh. Run, done. And of course, it fails. Uh-oh. And it says... A validation error, sample category, I have no idea what you're talking about. And here's the list of valid values, by the way, and I have no idea which one is which. Yeah. Here's the magic query. It's a web API. We can query metadata. Here's the magic. It's the you're end result. You yeah. use the word web API. It's making me nervous. It doesn't matter. All, all you need to do is to actually copy and paste something like this and have a nice placeholders for the names. So I distilled it down a little bit. We can go as broad as we want. We can query global option sets. And here they called option sets, actually. Um, 
we can query global choices and local ones and uh, I values. I don't think there's any other types <laughs> yet. Let me just walk through um, through the data. So we're going for entity definitions, table, sample products. Mm -hmm. Then I go after attributes and I filter it down. I just happen to know the attribute name. Mm -hmm. right. Then I say for this attribute, I actually want, I know it's a pick list. So um, <laughs> here's the other name for it. It's a not, not a choice or option set. It's a pick list. Good, it comes, yeah. I, I think it comes from 2008 or something like this. Anyway. Naming things is hard. So pick list attribute metadata. I know what I'm after. And then I'm simplifying. I'm kind of, uh, all I want is logical name, schema name, just in case, because they're case sensitive. And then I go the attribute type name. And here's some magic. I'm expanding. Remember this magic Ooh, of expand? expand. Yeah. Ooh, option you expand set. Expand into option sets. Yeah. And with the Ooh, option set, set, I say, just give me options. I don't want any other fluff. So this yeah. one is very much distilled to just what we want. If I go ahead and just refresh it, look what happens. Logical name, schema name, metadata, attribute, option sets. Options. Options. So is an options array. a table? It's an array. It's JSON. It's an array of objects. Each object, and there's like few of them, each object has a value. This is what you're after. It has mm -hmm. label. It's got localized label and it's got user localized label. For simplicity, we'll just go with the user localized label, which will be English in this case, but you can go as wild as you want to because localized labels is array and if you have multiple languages deployed go nuts right yeah so, okay but we'll go with user localized label which happened to be english so we want to find out here's your laptops here's your value right good here's, yeah here's your value here's your mice Ooh, nice Ooh, mice. now we need to grab that and kind of find out by its string I pass in mice and I want these back. It's doable. So let's go in and expand the magic. First step first. So let me go into the edit mode. First I wish step. there was noise effects for when I raise my eyebrows and look horrified. First, we need to run this, this baby, right? We need to pass it in, get the results back. It's much simpler than you realize. What we use, this is the end result, but what we use effectively, you go and you use HTTP with Azure AD mm. and invoke HTTP request. Very similar okay. to what we did with uh, Office 365 when talking to a graph. Mm -hmm. Here, we want to be authenticated within the domain. The only thing that you want to, this is what you get. You get prompt for base resource URL and Azure AD URI. That looks scary, but all you need to mm -hmm. put in your instance .crm, well, we're in Australia, so in both places. Yeah. In both oh, places. Oh, just the same thing in both? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm less scared now. Easy. Thanks. Okay. Easy. Once you've done that, and you have to do it once or twice when authorizing. After that, you just drop in and it says, yeah, I know who you are. You authorize it. You will get prompted to sign in. You sign in and you're good to go. So method mm -hmm. is get. We just grab this long URL, just paste it here. Mm -hmm. What we get in back is this JSON. Yeah. yeah. So the next step is for me, to parse this JSON. Mm -hmm. What I did, I grabbed the sample data here. I just literally- Which bit would you select? This one. Just, just within the options, yeah. Array okay. of options. And I filter it down. I could have parsed the entire thing, but it just comes back with duplicate names. It's you don't need it. You don't, I don't need it. So here, what I did is body of get metadata and drill Ooh. down to option sets, to options, right? right? Okay, I, yep. I know options is an array. 
And here I pass the schema through sample data, pass it in. What comes back is array with some uh, options. Ob object, objects. Okay. And objects have a known schema. So now okay. I can pick up things. I can Ooh. pick up things like you see this here is localized labels and things like oh, that. Okay, so, so it creates those for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I already parsed it. So it knows what, uh, what we're dealing with. So, so wait, what, wait. First action's past JSON. Second action is. Second action is let's find that option. No, but what's the action that you use in Power Automate? It's called filter array. Thank you. So this one is filter array. This one is parse JSON. Yep. This one is filter array. And when I Got filter it. array, you can actually say, give me an element of the array where this property, and you can go down, equal mm -hmm. this. So what Got we it. need to do, I'm saying, I'm going through this options array. And I want to go down to label, down to use a local label, and find the label. This is the property I'm after. Yeah. And I'm saying where this property equal the category, which was my input. Yeah, the text field, yeah. Yeah. And this one is, it's a label, user localized label, label. You see it drills down. Yeah. You can pick it up. Label is a duplicate name, so it might take you like a couple times to get the right one. Nice. Right? So, but once you get it, you get it. It's uh, like one, once you start picking up, um, you see you there are a couple them. localized yeah. labels, couple has changed and things like that. So yeah. I think the first one was the right one. Could be second one. What you want is definitely drill down. To, from the item to label, to user localized label, label, and it's yeah. equal. What I'm expecting is there's only one value to come back or none at all if you did a typo, for example, yeah. if value doesn't exist, right? So bingo is my value, and I'm saying Scrap it's first a one. first one from the body of the previous one, and I want value elements. So what I'm doing, I'm grabbing, remember, what comes back is this object. Yeah. It, it matched it by this attribute, but comes back this object. And then you just want the specific And I just it. want this value. Yes, the value. Okay. So first could be empty or null, whatever you want to call it, if there is no match. Mm -hmm. But if there is, then value will, will get. So let's go ahead. And instead of that, instead of that one, let's go ahead and insert. Bingo. Where's my bingo? Here's my bingo, output of bingo. Right? Hmm. Let's go ahead and test it. And just to recap, currently it's monitors and it's a laptop. Mm -hmm. And I want to set it, set it to laptops. Right? Mm -hmm. Or to mice. What what do you prefer? I like keyboards. Just because it's the only one you didn't say. <laughs> it's monitors, and we're changing it to keyboards. Also, didn't think I'd be saying I like keyboards today. Hey, look at that! Oh, look! It's run, but has it done okay, what it's let... meant to? Refresh. Show me the goods. Uh huh. Keyboard. You smarty. So let's walk through. So get in the metadata. Give me this same stuff what I showed you in the browser. Yeah. This stuff, right? Then options was simply parsing it. So the output is the same, looks the same, yeah. just the options, but it knows the schema, so it makes it a little bit easier to manipulate. There's only one. You pass in an array of values, multiple. You see there's multiple. But yeah. what comes back is just one of them. Got you. And the bingo and grab the value. contains the value. Nice. And now you can update by value. That's really cool. Okay, and just to prove, we test it again. 
manually and set it to what it's supposed to be. To mice. To laptop. Nice try. Nice try. How Wait. fast? How fast was that? That was really quick. Yikes. Yeah. So actually, once it warms up, it's actually fine. It's laptops. Sweetie. We fixed it. Beautiful. So this is how you deal with the option sets. The last bit, let's do that and call it a day. Instead of manually triggering the flow, delete. Where's my legacy? <laughs> oh, oh, no. When row is selected. Yeah, select the environment, but you can only choose one. Products. And was it um, text? English is hard. iOS devices. That doesn't exist. Okay. And the only thing we need to, so get met, metadata is the same. What we need to do is, was there's only one, that value will mm -hmm. be. Category. You could type and search. That made my life easier. Day. Was it category? Is that a That's parameter? Not, yeah, that is a parameter. Looks exactly the same as the table columns. That's not. Tandy. Oh, yeah. Through your right text. Thank you, citizen. Pleasure. That's why I'm here. Okay. And now the only thing we need to change here is instead of that, we want to grab product. Product. Sweet. Now let's go here. Show me, show me. Now, one might ask, uh, why the heck would you do that, right? Because category is like right here. Yeah, but, of course. But this field could be locked. Here, you can elevate permissions to someone else, right? It just opens the eyes to how else you could automate it. Yeah, so we can go and change the category to, yes, okay, here's the sign-in, okay. Once we sign in, change it to monitors. Monitors it is. Flow, change the category back to laptops. Schnazzy. Laptops it is. Change the category to iOS devices. Run flow, done. Obviously nothing changed. And category set to blank. Ah. Because it came back as null, right? Smart. <laughs> It is. Uh, At least well, the flow you, didn't fail. No, you 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 can actually add if then else statement. Like if it's blank, then do something else or yeah. fall back to default or something. Do something. nothing. Yeah. Do nothing or something like that. But uh, it does work, and I it's like not it. that terribly difficult. I think this is nice approach. Very universal. You can copy and paste it when you feel like it, but it definitely solves your problem from 20 down to a single path once you figure out how to do that. And you're going to do that amazing thing where you paste the useful piece of code into the comments or descriptions rather than not sharing it so people have to type it out? No, I think I'll put it on uh, behind the paywall. So Yeah, yeah, and like show it as a picture because that's really helpful blurred out picture uh -huh. and for 399 you can get a clear picture and for 599 yeah. you can actually get the, the code yes uh -huh. that's Great. what that's exactly what i'm gonna do that's okay. what i'm here for uh, that's what i'm planning to spend my afternoon today on that note thank you very much and always I'll see a pleasure you next time next time bye. bye how do i stop recording Il mio cor, don't forget ta 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 ta. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Please, let's come back.